Through this master program, which is very intensive, I gained an insightful knowledge on the oceans, lakes, and the rivers. I learned about complexities of organisms, their interactions, the way people depend, and the different ways we can sustainably manage. Uh, we had the whole group of class from different parts of the world, uh, from South America, from Europe, who were able to share different experience uh, in managing these resources so that they remain sustainably to feed uh, different parts of the world. Additionally, I learned about governance and uh, yeah, we had a course on governance and policy. I had time to visit the yeah, European Parliament where we were able to learn how the, the policies are formulated from the research and uh, how different people are, are being engaged, which means that I am prepared uh, to be not only a researcher, but also to be a leader in my country for, for different purposes to safeguard the oceans, lakes and the rivers. Um, actually, we found this organization called Aquafarms back in 2017 before I went for my master's. Today we have uh, three projects that we are implementing at the moment. And uh, the first project is on, on empowering the women at Zanzibar, which was funded by Blue Climate Initiative. And another project on, on the Aquafarms hatchery, which we have the modernized hatchery through collaborations with the institutes and the professors that I met before and um, I think I also learned uh, the good leadership skills because I am the executive secretary of this organization as you can see I'm still young so um, I had this opportunity to learn uh, uh, outside the lessons while I was in Belgium I had time to visit professors, to have more chats about different ways I can make my organization progress and different ways we can partner and, uh, and in one of the partnership it brought another pro project that was funded by King Borden Foundation which is based in Belgium and with this project we are assessing water quality uh, along the rivers in Tanzania uh, which I think is a very important thing. In my master's, I did a research on octopus connectivity and ecology, providing very important information here in Tanzania on how to sustainably manage the octopus. And I think when this information will be integrated into policies, it, it will bring more benefits to the country. And right now, I'm when I'm doing my I'm doing my PhD on the fishes, which are very important for the artisanal fishermen and the coastal fisheries. And, and so I think we also contribute more to the development. Apart from that, I've catalyzed partnerships uh, between uh, our organization, AFO, with the Food and Agriculture Organization, and we've already implemented one project, which is to, to, to uh, enhance sanitation and hygiene at the fish markets and with that, uh, with the COVID-19 response, we've been able to install hand washing facilities and provide the, 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 the kits to help communities to, to, to move against the COVID-19 and protect themselves. So um, furthermore, so far with the hatchery project on aquaculture, we've trained more than 2,500 uh, Tanzanians, which involves youth and women in different ways where, where they can do fish farming and um, with that service that we always catalyzed our team that uh, to not just start uh, to, to not just influence people to start fish farming but just to keep on track on them monitor them supply with anything that we can we can have to just to make sure that the number of fish in Tanzania increase